Okay, the last video. Hope you're having a good day. Select the background layer, now go back to our props object and add some more sprites. The first one is just grass, so we can tell the player where is the limit between the road and the river. and disable collisions since they are just backdrops. Now select the UI layer and create a new prop, showing the last frames, which stand for the game over display. Place them in the center of the screen. Create an instance variable by types for the props and set it to text. Remember that in this video we are picking different objects by variables instead of creating different objects for each one. And give the game over sprites a value of game over. Set them to invisible, switch to the event sheet and add if lives are lower or equal than zero. And props variable UI type equals game over. Props set visible. And another event if props UI type is game over and is visible, On any key pressed, reset global variables and restart layout. That's for the game over. We need to know the stage is cleared. So if props type is true, remember that the goals turn true when reached, and props pick count equals five, this means it will only count the goals set to true. Restart layout. Or go to layout for level two or so. Now, on the start of the layout, set lives to 3 and timer to 60. This way, we start every level with 3 lives, 60 seconds, but the score doesn't reset. As you see, it's working, but in a way too fast to realize what happened, so I had a white one second action. 
To the final touches, go to the sound folder and import some files. Add an audio object to the game and play a sound on every key pressed. That basically means every time we move the frog. A different sound when we reach the goals, one when the car crushes, and one when we drown in the river. So that's it, there you have the basic mechanics for our game, fully working. Very close to the original, but if you've seen the previous series, you know that there is a small challenge for you here. Number one, game. the game used images to show the lives of the player instead of just numbers. And we already showed you two ways you can achieve that, so this time there's actually just one challenge. The game used a time bar instead of numeric values, and the bar shrinks as time passes. So try to achieve that by yourself, or as always, just click here to see how it did it. And once again, thanks for watching.